Hi, this video is to help parents and students log in through Clever in order to access um, iReady, Ready Math, and Ready Reading. The first thing you want to make sure that you do is go to clever.cusd.com. And when you do that, you should have a screen that shows up that says Clovis Unified School District and also states login with Active Directory. It's going to look a little different on my screen because I'm already logged in. But when you click on this screen, you are going to need to enter your student's username, which is something like their first name, last name, and 001. And you would get that information from your child's teacher along with a password. And that also will come from your child's teacher. So if you have any questions, email their teacher and they can give you the username and password for your student. So once you click on Login with Active Directory and log in that information, you will end up getting to a screen that looks something like this. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna scroll and we're gonna be looking for a cube that says I ready. And so right here you can see I found the cube that says I ready. If you click on the heart on your student's page, it will end up making it so the first thing when you log in the iReady will be right up there as one of their favorites at the top. Once you click on the iReady cube, you will go to iReady and your student's dashboard, depending on which school site they are at, will have the subject to choose reading. from either reading or math. math. We're gonna go ahead and click on math for our student. Here, this My Path Heart right lesson. here has the lessons that are based on their learning needs from the diagnostic assessment that they took at the beginning of the school year. And so if your student needs to continue working on their My Path or if their teacher assigns them to do work in My Path, on the right side, this is where you would click in order to work on stuff in order to get them up to grade level, or maybe even it could be stuff past their grade level if they're working ahead. Um, on the left side, you will see teacher, teacher assigned assign lessons. And this will be current grade level work that the teacher is working on in the classroom. And so if you're not understanding things that are happening or you wanna see what your child is currently doing in the classroom, each of these lessons will walk through um, the different types of models and problems that they're working on in class. And so you would click on this and you can sit and, and watch your student work through these. A couple other things that I wanted to show you is that I had to pull a different screen up here, but on your student's dashboard, they're gonna have access to all these different materials. Um, there's a bookshelf here where we can actually access the book that they're working on um, in class and there's tools. Um, if you click on My Progress, you'll be able to see all the work that they have completed and um, the percent that they've received on each of the lessons. When you click on the bookshelf, you'll end up getting to something like this. And in here, they have the resource of text-to-speech. They can print specific pages of the book. There is a calculator. If they click on this button here, they will get tools that they can use to work on each of these pages in the book. Um, you can specifically go to a page in the book by clicking it right here. Um, on the left side, you have the option of all the different units and lessons, the vocabulary, the unit review. Um, and then there's also your Family Resource Center, which has some videos and um, an overview of the unit if you're wanting to watch that. So I hope that you found this helpful. Again, you need to start by going to clever.cusd.com. From there, you will go to um, iReady. And again, on the left side teacher is the assigned. teacher assigned lessons that are current in the classroom. And then the My Path is the path that the student has based on their diagnostic assessment in order to help them get up to grade level standards or to push them further beyond. If you have any questions at all, though, please speak with your classroom teacher. Thank you.